Check out my new car, eh? Right? So this is the one, eh? Yeah, got it yesterday. Just yesterday. Brand spanker. Uh, as yeah. you can probably tell. Yeah, actually, Hayden, that's embarrassingly clean, that engine, mate. <laughs> What size? Uh, 1.4. Yeah, <laughs> bit of a powerhouse. <laughs> yeah, you're right. What do you put in it? Uh, 95. 95. Yeah. Any particular kind uh, of Z ZX, of course. Uh, yeah. That's what I've been recommended. You're so, just saying uh, that because I'm here, right? No, no. It's been uh, recommended to me by a lot of my friends, and the car's recommended to run a 95, so... No. A, lot, a lot of people say they um, put 98 in them, but it, it doesn't need 98, and it runs really well on 95. And, of course, it saves on the pocket as well, which is always a good thing. You must know some smart people because, yeah, it's a good fuel to use. <laughs> I drive a car that doesn't need a 95, but I put ZX in it, and I know I don't get the benefit of the extra octane, but I do get the benefit of the additive package that's oh, in it. Yeah. yeah. Like this one here, not only is the top of the engine pretty clean, but I imagine the inlet valves in here would be pretty squeaky clean. I hope it is anyway. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, you'd hope so, right? <laughs> yeah. It's quite likely that over time, when you use just standard petrols, you get a build-up of carbon deposits on the inlet valve. and those things impact the performance of the car and so what yeah. ZX does with the higher dose rate it not only keeps them clean but it actively cleans them up too so I know that putting chucking that through my engine it's going to actively clean those up so I get better performance out of the car. Yeah, yeah. It's also got a friction modification that's the new bit that we never had before which reduces friction between the piston and the upper cylinder. And this has all been tested for New Zealand conditions as well is it? Yeah good folk at uni services in Auckland, Auckland University we tested it there. Yeah, we've got the best roads in the world here don't we? Pretty yeah, unique yeah, yeah. sort of conditions. Yeah. You would have probably been around one or two. Oh, there's plenty of favourites. Yeah. <laughs> Come off a few good news oh, we, too. we won't go down that track. Yeah, although my driving is generally where the cars don't get kept clean. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, speaking of that, you want to see something pretty cool? Why not? All right, come over here. All right. Right, here we go. You ready to see some fire? I'm ready for this cool part. Yeah, all right. Well, this is the cool part. All uh, right, what do we need? First of all, it does involve flames. So we need to be safe here. So I'm going to get you to hold on to that. You want to use one of those? Yeah, I do indeed. Yeah. Um, you had to put out a few fires. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah. All right. Um, and I'll get you to wear those as well. Thanks, that was, mate. That would suit me, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And I'll get a pair too. And look, I know how you like a bit of theatre, mate. So I'll put on the jacket just for you. <laughs> All right. Plus, you know, don't want to get my nice clothes dirty. Right. And I guess this is where the caption turns up with "Kids don't try this at home." Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Good point. Definitely don't try this at home. I've got the clean valve there and a dirty valve, so that's the nice and clean one. That's what it'll look like on your Skoda. Um, nice and clean and smooth, good for performance. That one there, you can see all the carbon build up on that one. Not possibly that's what it looked like before I started using ZX. So let's have a look. So what I'm gonna do, I'll dip this into the fuel. Burn it. See how quickly that burnt? Nice and clean, yeah, so you're gonna get good combustion through that one. Get the dirty one. Okay, do the same thing. Good dip. Like that. Look at that. Oh. Whee. You sure we don't need the fire extinguisher? Uh, nope. But you can really tell that. It's been a lot longer. The carbon was burning off, it was darker. And that's the sponge effect that you get when the fuel's going through and you're not gonna get the same uh, that, performance that, out of it. That yeah. car's not as, a, as efficient. Absolutely not. What do you reckon? Should you go for a drive? As long as I'm driving. 